Hey guys, Joseph back here with another tutorial, and today we're going to be creating a gravity flipping platformer similar to the ones such as Gravity Guy or um, some other indie games, as it is a very popular effect nowadays. So basically, it's about a guy who can jump, who can move around, and when he clicks space, its gravity will flip, and now you're jumping upside down. This is a really cool mechanism as you could um, do so many cool things with this and make a puzzle platformer, an action one. It's just really versatile and yet it's really simple to do. So without further ado, let's get started. So I already let out my sprites and my code. Everything's already here. So I'm just going to be explaining it uh, to you as the time goes on. So let me know if you like this way better or would you like me to start from scratch and do it along with you. So let's start with the sprites. So I have a sprite called S player or SBR player with a width of 32 and a height of 32, the origin right in the center, and it's a red color. The wall is a gray color, and once again it's 32 by 32, and the origin is 0 by 0. Now I have three objects here. The first object I have is called O player one. Now we have two two players, all right. These two players, each of them represent a different type of gravity. So O player one is when the gravity is normal. We're on the ground and we're jumping as if it's normal universe. O player two represents the other player who is bouncing on ceilings and being all cool. And this is how we, how it works. Basically, you press a button, and then it'll change to that ob other object. In that other object, if you press another button, it'll change back to the previous object. So just that, that's basically how it works. This might not be the best way, however, it, for simplicity, it's probably one of the easiest ways to um, go about this problem. So now, in the create event here, I basically run a script called player in it. The reason why is because the O player 1 and O player 2 uh, variables are always going to be the same. The reason why is because um, they're basically the same, the same player. It's just that they have slightly different behaviors, and that's when the step event this is different. Okay, so in this script here, player in it, we have the gravity 3.5, the speed is 4, the jump speed is 8, H speed is zero, V speed is zero. All right. Keep in mind that in this my room, my FPS or frames per second is sixty FPS. Cool. So this is the first thing I call is the script called player in it. In this step event, this is where all of our main code is is located. So the first thing we do is define three local variables that each of them represent a key that we press. So the first one is called R key, and this is re representing our right key, which says keyboard underscore check is the uh, keyboard is uh, the right button. The left button is VK left, and the jump key is EZ. Now one thing to note is that we have a pressed for the jump key. The reason why is because we don't want people to be holding down the pr the jump button. I mean, you can, but in, my, in this game, I don't want to. Check for ground. So the first thing we do is check, are we on are we on a surface? What I mean by that is basically, let me quickly show you the game here. So basically, right now, we are on the ground. As you can see right there, our, our feet, well, we don't really have feet, but the bottom of our arms, of our self, is on the solid. So if we are place meeting x y plus one. Now plus one means that our um, let me see if I can explain this. So right here is our player, all right? And if we plus one, it goes down. If we minus one, it goes up. So because we are in the normal gravity, we want to check for the down. If there's anything below us. Then v speed equals zero. If we're jumping, then v speed is equal negative j speed, not positive. If it's positive, it will jump down. If it's a negative, it will go up. 
Now, if we are not on the ground, and if the V speed is smaller than 15, then we're going to activate the gravity and we're going to add it. Okay. Now, this here is controlled jumping. This means that uh, if we hold down the jump button, we'll go higher. And if we just basically tap it, it'll go uh, slightly less higher. So if keyboard check released, released, keep in mind that, the jump button, then V speed, and V speed is smaller than negative 3, then V speed is negative 3. So now we're going to exit that statement and moving right. So if we press the R key, which is the right key, then h speed equals speed. Now this little, uh, this code right here is standard for both objects because we are not affecting our um, horizontal speed, only our vertical speed. That's just how things work. Check for not moving. This is saying that if you're not pressing any left key or right key or we're pressing both, then we're just going to stop the object. So we're just going to say, just don't move. h speed equals zero. Horizontal collisions. One thing I want to tell you guys is that this platformer code is not really mine. I just use it because it's probably one of the best out there. It's uh, from Heartbeast and Sean Spalding. They use similar ones and I just somehow use this. <laughs> yeah. So if place meeting x plus h speed, y o solid. So if we're colliding with the object, with the solid, then while we aren't colliding with the solid, then x plus equals sine h speed. Okay? And h speed equals zero. And then we're just gonna say x plus h speed. We do the exact same for the vertical collisions, except change a couple of things such as the v speed. We do, obviously it's best for you to pause the video now and just copy this code. Then uh, we change this to v speed this and this and then y plus equals v speed and that's pretty much it for the code now for the space pretty much the uh really simple it's saying here if we are on ground so if we're on ground then change to the other object and make sure this second parameter is set to true because we do want to perform events after afterwards now, player 2 is pretty much very similar. Once again, call player in it because we are, we are using the same player. I'm going to change that. In the step event, copy and paste everything from the step event into here. All right? And you only need to change a few things. The first one is change this to minus because we are checking above us. Change the v speed equals as it's normal. And now instead of a negative, make it a positive now because we are jumping down. Um, okay, another thing is V speed minus equal gravity, not plus equals gravity. Let me just check here. Uh, okay. Yeah, so plus, it's not plus anymore, it's minus, okay? The next thing is that instead of a minus, uh, instead, instead of a less than sign, make this a greater sign. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So now we've got that in your space, press space. You want to do basically the exact same thing, but instead of plus meaning x, y plus, you want to do once again minus because we are checking above us. Instant change to the first player. Uh, one thing to note is that we are colliding with the object called O solid. If your object is called, let's say, O wall or something, then make sure to change this to your corresponding solid object. So click OK now. And let's see our game. Make sure to place all your solids around there. And once again, it should work. Jump around, click space to reverse your gravity. And once again, you could use just one single object and basically set a variable called reverse gravity. And every time you click space, that variable would trigger. 
However, this is probably a bit of an easier solution and a bit more clearer for beginners. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please leave a like and subscribe. It really means a lot. Thank you for helping me reach 300 subscribers and really hope that we can reach even higher soon. So thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.